Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me in this yoga inspired slow flow core session today. You're only going to need yourself maybe a pillow right at the end or a blanket to enjoy the rest position. If you're not already, hit the subscribe button, hit the like and the notification bell so you don't miss out on good content like this. I would love to, for you to join this community and let's get started for your core flow slow yoga sequence. Um, please do listen to your body, take the modifications if you need to. Um, if you need to take it down a level, obviously use your own discernment. You are all divine, feminine goddesses. We are in this collective together. And so use your own discernment on what you can and cannot do today. So I'm sitting on the cushion. Make sure you've elevated or pushed that fleshy part of your seat back. Come into a cross-legged position. As always, let's just settle into today's routine. Take your hands on your knees. Hunch your shoulders up towards your ears. Big, big, big push into your knees. Straighten those elbows. And then big exhale out as you drop your shoulders. And again, two more like this. Inhale through the nose drop and really shrug those shoulders. Last one, inhale all the crap that you don't need, anything that's been hovering and holding on to and let them go, beautiful. So before we start, let's just alternate our shoulders. If anybody's carrying that extra baggage, rotate those shoulders and then rotate both at the same time. Always go backwards. A lot of times people say we roll forwards, but we're already in that thoracic forward flexion. So let's enhance our bodies by keeping moving in an external rotation, yeah? Okay, so find a seated position that suits you. You can sit in half lotus or full lotus, whatever you prefer. Taking those hands on your knees or if you would prefer, so if you've got any issues with your nasal passage, if you've got any blockages around your nasal, imagine the breath going through the left and right nostril. If you're happy with it, take your right hand. We're gonna close down your index finger, middle finger, and your pinky finger, and then take your ring finger, pardon me, take your thumb over your left right side, and your left nostril is open. So, inhale and exhale all the air out of your left nostril. Inhale through the left. Close down that left nostril with the ring finger, hold that breath, and then exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Close down the right nostril, and then exhale through the left. So keep working like this, inhaling through the left. Pause at the top if you can. Close down the left nostril, exhale through the right. Inhale through the right, close down the right, and exhale through the left. Keep breathing in this way, inhaling through the left, pausing at the top, and exhaling through the right. We're going to go on for another two minutes like this, and I'm going to talk you through what I would like for you to think about during today's class. So a lot of times we talk about the mind-body connection. By you inhaling through the left, exhaling through the right, inhaling through the right, exhaling through the left. As you're continuing to do this, imagine that breath circling in your entire body. You're bringing oxygen to different parts of your muscles, in your areas of your body. And I want you to focus on any part of your body that feels stuck, that feels blocked. Maybe you're holding a little bit more tension around that area. So really focus on what area of your body needs a little bit more love and compassion and attention. So keep breathing through the left nostril and the right nostril. Keep alternating between this breath and as you're doing this, I want you to now really focus the breath all the way down to the root of your spine. So as you inhale through the left and right nostril, think of your breath 
stemming from the root chakra, taking yourself all the way up to the third eye in between your forehead and your eyebrows, and then exhaling, taking that same breath all the way down to the root. We've got one more minute like this. Now for the next 60 seconds, as your breath is becoming a little bit more deeper, a little bit more fluid, a little bit more momentous, I want you to think about an intention you would like to set for today's practice based on what area that you would like to focus the most on, on your body. So just a few more seconds, inhaling. Think of your intention and keep in mind your intention throughout today's practice. Try and make this your last breath. So remember, we're always ending on the left side. So when you're finished, take both hands onto the knees. Just so I know everybody's at the same point. Remember, there's no rush here when you're all finished on that left hand side. Just relax. Beautiful. Okay, so for now, what I would like for you to do is take both palms directly in front of you. So stay in your seated position. So whether you're in rock pose or half lotus, whatever you are, stay where you are. And just take a deep breath in and now tape it up on all 10 fingertips. So really tape it up. And you'll notice how much your chest pronounces and your abdominals pull in. This time I want you to take a giant leap forward with your right hand and a giant leap forward with your left hand. TP up onto those fingertips. So keep those fingertips TP'd up. Take a deep breath in. Take your right hand straight up to the sky and then open up your palm towards the right side. Just open up your palm and naturally you'll be able to look to the right side. So you'll feel a deep stretch from the right hip all the way to the right armpit. Take a deep breath in here. I want you to take your right hand and take it over beside your left fingertips. So it's almost like a 10 o'clock on the, on the clock. Take a deep breath in, look towards your right fingertips, and then exhale, I just want you to drop your chin in that triangle, in that nice triangle you've created between your biceps. Beautiful, now you'll feel a different kind of stretch here. You'll feel this stretch across the right hip, possibly into your serratus anterior, your lungs, and take a deep breath in here. Pick up that right hand this time, and then open up towards the left side. So it's almost like we are literally just rotating from the left, from the bottom to the top corner. So again, we're feeling a nice big rotation, and hold it here for two breaths. Inhale here, reach over to the left hand side, we're really creating the deep, deep stretch with our right side of our body. Take a deep breath in, and this time place your right hand straight forward again. Inhale, inhale the left hand up, and then all I'm getting you to do is just rotate that left palm. And now you're gonna naturally want to just rotate that chest open. Hold it here. Big breath here. Feel from the left pinky finger, from the left hip point, you are grounded in one area and stretching the other. Now rotate that left hand down and we're going to cross it over to the right hand side, almost at two o'clock on the clock. Beautiful. Drop your chin down to your chest and draw in that belly button. Remember you're flexing forward from your hip joint. Now, if you are in a rock pose in this, you're probably gonna feel a little bit more stretch sensation across your back. And it's a really, really nice thoracic spine opener. Take a deep breath in. Carefully with that right hand, we're gonna open up towards the sky and give me that nice big stretch, nice big arch from that left pinky finger to the left hip. Beautiful. Inhale, come up to the center, and then drop both fingertips down. Beautiful, stay where you are this time, and this time I'm gonna take my hands, and instead of my fingertips forward, I'm gonna rotate my hands back, um, towards me. So I'm not putting my palms down, let me just bring it a little bit closer so you can see. I'm not 
putting my palms down. I'm basically just TPing up on my fingertips, but now my fingertips are pointing towards my body. But what I want you to do is stay in that forward position. So really excel those arms out. Lovely, Victoria, I love that. Great, Jean, amazing. Okay, beautiful. Now, walk those fingertips over to the left-hand side. A little bit more into the nine o'clock and 10 o'clock. Take a deep breath in. Inhale here. And now exhale, rotate that right hand over to the left-hand side. So you're gonna feel a little bit more sensation because you're opening up a little bit more through the left fingertips. We're gonna rotate over to the other side. So use the emphasis on the left hand, give it a little bit of a bend, and we're gonna push ourselves off, TP up, but then rotate those palms down. So we're not pointing outwards, we're pointing our fingertips towards our body. And now open up. Beautiful. So you're gonna get a big sensation in our forearm. Drop those fingertips down towards the right hand side, and then this time turn the fingertips out. So your fingertips are pointing your body towards your body and you're opening up the rib cage, opening up the chest. Beautiful. Now coming back to center this time, I want you to bring your fingertips forward so your palms are now on the floor. Now if you're hypermobile, try not to do this, but um, I want you to just focus on this position here and just rock from side to side. So we're just pressing down the fleshy part of our hands and rocking from side to side. This will come in useful when we're doing all of that core work, I promise. So it may feel gentle right now, but um, just wait for it. Just wait for it. <laughs> it's coming. The hard part's coming. Okay, beautiful. Take those fingertips now alongside so they're pointing towards the knees and rock from side to side. We're gonna do the same thing this time, but we're now gonna come into all fours. So just transfer yourself into all fours just gonna move my pillow to the side. I'm gonna do the same thing. Fingertips alongside the mat and shifting from left to right. Beautiful. Fingertips towards your knees this time. Shifting from forward and back. And then this time take the back of the palms into the mat and shifting from forward and back. Beautiful. So you can either do both arms or you can alternate. Take that left hand, palm now, so the palm fingertips are towards the knee, but the palm is open. Just giving the forearm a little bit of a stretch. Beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna go straight into our plank. So just give your wrists a little bit of a stretch if they need to, try not to shake out those hands, okay? So we wanna just keep the steady strength in our upper body, and we're gonna work towards the slow flow strength work. So remember you can take a modified position if you wanted to take the kneeling position into a plank, you can take that. If you wanted to come into a full plank, please do take it. So let's start off strong. Everybody in all fours, your fingertips are directly your wrists are directly over your shoulders and just measure up. Can you bring those fingertips together and see if your middle fingers can touch? Because that, that is the exact place where you should have shoulder distance. Take your right foot and extend it out behind you. Take your left foot and extend it back behind you. So for those of you who want to stay in this plank position, I don't want to see your tailbone high. I don't want to see your back dipping. I really want you to be active and push the ground away with those hands. And see if you can t go, come up on your tippy toes. So really pull in all four corners from your toes, from your fingertips, you're pushing into the mat. You're pulling in your abdominals, three more breaths here. We're gonna transfer straight into a down dog, okay? So one more breath here. Now push into those hands, lift those hips straight up, and come into your first down dog position. For those of you who wanna pedal out those feet, please do so. For those of you who want to bend those knees generously, do with what feels good in your body. Take a deep breath in here, two more breaths just to come into a settled position. 
Beautiful. We're going to repeat the whole thing again. So we're going to come back into a plank position. Set, settle yourself shoulders just a little bit further forward. Really engage the abdominals. So squeeze the belly button in towards your spine. And we're going to take five breaths here. Inhale. Exhale through the nose. Really tuck that tailbone in if you can. Push the ground away with those palms. One more breath here. And then push those hips up towards the sky into a down dog. And three breaths here. So just working into a little bit of heat in the body. Nothing too strenuous. Just generating that heat. Drop those knees down into the mat this time. And just do some gentle cat cows. So open and round. As you inhale, broaden that chest. As you exhale, tuck that tailbone in and round that back. Two more in your own time. Exhale, inhale. Beautiful. This time, what I'm going to get you to do is you're going to rotate your left foot behind you and then you're going to extend your right foot. So we're going to be coming into that modified side plank. And this will come in useful a little bit later. So what I'm going to get you to do is raise that right hand up to the sky. So your left foot is behind you. Push both hips forward. So we're coming into this modified side plank position. Take a deep breath in here and hold. Beautiful. So we're just stretching from our right shoulder all the way to the right hip, to the right toes. So we're pointing those toes into the floor. Take a deep breath in here. Take that right hand over your ear. So stretch now from the right pinky finger. And I want you to raise your right leg. So you're coming into a nice long line from your right pinky finger to your right leg. And now, if you can, I want you to pulse with the right leg. So you're pulsing up for five, four, three, getting into those glutes, two, one, beautiful. Drop that right hand down towards the mat, carefully coming back into all fours, and then just do some gentle cat cows. Inhale and exhaling. Two more like this. And again. Beautiful. This time I'm going to take my right foot behind me and then I'm going to come into that side plank position and then raise that left hand up to the sky. So in this position I want you to try and spot is your right, is your right hand, your right knee and your left foot in one line. Just have a quick check. Inhale here, and then exhale. Focus on pushing the ground away with those palm, with the knee, pushing the hips forward. And then take that top hand over your ear and hold here. For those of you who are happy sitting here, stay here. For those of you who want to raise that left leg up, hold. And now we're going to pulse for five, four, three, two, one, drop that left hand down, come back into all fours, and then pick yourself up to a plank position. So, remember your fingertips are shoulder distance apart. Your body is nice and strong. This time we're going to hold for 10 breaths. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. If you are new to me teaching, my breaths are really long, so if at any point you want to drop your knees, please do so. So I'm on my fourth breath here. So we've got six more to go. So keep actively pushing the ground away with those hands. Actively push the ground away with those feet. Four more breaths. Deepen that breath. Focus on the inhale and the exhale. Last three. Last one. 
Okay, listen carefully. You can either drop your knee or you can come straight into a full side plank position on your right side. So remember that modification. Do not be ashamed to take it. For those of you who are coming with me, you're going to raise your right arm up. You've got option one, straight up to the sky. Option two, up over your ear. Hold here for three breaths. So I wasn't joking when I said so slow flow. Push your bottom left glute up to the sky. Two more breaths. Remember you can drop your knee at any point. One more breath. Inhale. Beautiful. Drop that arm down. We're gonna go straight over to the right side. So rotate over to the right side and then open up to your side plank. Three breaths here. Pushing your hips up towards the sky. Look down if it's strenuous for your neck. Last two. Last one. Beautiful, drop yourself slowly and carefully onto your knees. And before we continue, sit back into child's pose. Just drop yourself down just for a moment for three breaths. Get your breath back to a stage of neutrality. Allow yourself to be in this moment. One more breath. Okay, beautiful. This time, we're going to come straight into our all fours position. Now, we can either come into our modified push-up by just keeping our hips low, and we can either go for a mini chaturanga here, mini push-up, or if you prefer, we're going to go into a straight push-up, and we're going to do small, lower, and then big push. We've got six of these, so choose your poison. Inhale. Exhale, push the ground away, nice and strong. Strong core, strong arms, good. I'm taking it nice and slow, so I'm on my third one. When you are done, hold into a plank. So you're not gonna get away with going faster. This is challenging. Last two for me. Last one. Beautiful, hold into a plank position. This is where we're really gonna work our isometric strength. For anybody who wants to come down onto their knees or onto their elbows, please do so. If you want to come down on the elbow, elbow, please do so. Keep that core nice and tight. This is still a difficult version. We've got eight more breaths. See if you can really regulate that breath. You did some hard work here. Inhale, five more. Last three. Last two, carefully taking, if you're on your elbow, take your left hand to your right elbow and now rotate to a side plank with your elbow. Option one, option two. Lift up from your bottom hip, three breaths here. Beautiful. Last breath. Drop both elbows down. Take your right hand over to the left elbow and now rotate over to your side plank. Three breaths here. Generating that heat, getting that core strong. Last one. Beautiful, this time carefully coming over onto your elbows, drop down to your hips and come into a mini cobra. So, uh, pardon me, a sphinx pose. So, elbows directly underneath your shoulders, Open up the chest and hold here. Beautiful, really stretch out those backs of the feet. Keeping all four, 10 toes on the floor. Inhaling and exhaling. Beautiful. Are we ready to try that whole sequence again? <laughs> Some of you are looking at me going, uh, I don't know. <laughs> so if you wanna come into a full push up, you can. Take those hands, coming straight up to a push-up. So remember, you can drop your knees at any point. We've got six push-ups all together. So in your own time, nice and strong, off we go. Nice, powerful, strong goddess push-ups. Keep your body tight. Three more on my mat. I think I'm going a little bit faster on these ones this time. <laughs> Last one. 
Beautiful. If you want to stay up into your plank, hold up. If you want to drop onto your elbows, hold here. So remember we've got 10 breaths. We can do half half. You can do five breaths in your full push-ups. And if you're coming with me, our next five are going to be onto our elbows. Nice and strong. If you're coming down with me, last five breaths. Ooh, it's getting sweaty now. Okay, so your left hand is coming to your right elbow, and then rotate to your side plank. Palm up ahead or over your ear. Three breaths here, two breaths here, third breath. Both elbows down. Rotate your right arm to your left elbow, and pick up. So, you're getting a nice angle with that right arm. You're pushing up from your right hip. Last breath. Beautiful. Drop both elbows down. Both hips down. Both feet down. Come into Sphinx pose. For those of you who want to rest, you can just literally take one hand on top of the other and drop your forehead. Give yourself a little bit of a pause here. Okay, beautiful. So when you're ready, come back into all fours. Take a deep breath in. Toes are curled under, and then come into your down dog position. Inhale here. Exhale for two more breaths. So a little bit more core work. Centralize your left foot and raise your right leg to the sky. Inhale here. For those of you who've been here before, we're going to tuck your knee all the way over to, actually let's go to the nose. So we're going to go knee to nose and then extend straight up to the sky. And then come in, see if you can really tuck that knee to nose. Can you touch your knee with your nose? Good. Seven more here. Nice and strong. Slow it down if you can. Last five for me. Keep rounding that back as you come in. Last four. Last three. Last two. Last one. Beautiful. This time come in and then drop your right foot forward. Drop your left knee down. And then just come into this nice teepee up with your fingertips and drop your left hip. Look straight forward and hold. Beautiful. Stay here, stay low, stay into those hip creases. Taking that right hand onto your right knee and then raise that left hand up towards the sky. So still coming into that, staying into this hip crease, coming into this low lunge. Take a deep breath in here and exhale. Two more breaths. Beautiful. Bring that left hand down and then let that right hand join. So come into a prayer position. Take a deep breath in. Rotate from the hips over to the right hand side and come and get your left elbow to the right knee. For those of you who want to stay here, focus on the rotation from the hip, pulling in the abdominals, everything nice and tight. For those of you who want a little bit more depth and push, curl that back toe in, and then lift that back leg up. So really lift your left hamstring up to the sky, Three breaths here. Beautiful. Inhale. Exhale. So listen carefully. If you've got up, if your leg is high, drop your left hand towards the right foot and then come into the side plank position. So you're coming to scoop your right foot straight forward and we're coming into a side plank. So nice big side plank. You can take a modified side plank. You can drop your knee. Two more breaths here. 
Beautiful. Everybody drop their left knee if you haven't already. Bring both fingertips down. Come into all fours. And let's just sort of do some rounded barrel rolls with our stomach. So gentle cat cows, but this time we're going to go from left to right. So just loosening up anything around our hips, around our top of the back. Beautiful. So let's do that whole thing over to the other side. So I'm going to come straight into a triangle down dog position. Inhale here, centralize your right foot in the mat and then lift that left leg. Inhale here. Take your knee to nose, 10 repetitions on this one. Inhale, slow it down if you can. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good, halfway. Last two on my mat. Beautiful, when you curl in, tuck that left foot forward and drop that right knee, come into a low lunge. So remember, TP up onto your fingertips, open up the chest here. Give yourself a little bit of a breather. Open up your right hip. And just pause, regulate your breath. If that took a lot of heat in your body, if that took a lot of breathlessness out of you, come back to this neutral position. One more breath here. So remember at any stage, you can stay here. If you don't wanna progress, it's fine. You can stay wherever you are. For those of you who want to come with me, left hand to left knee, and then raise that right arm up to the sky, but stay in this hip crease. Really, really lengthen that right hip. Beautiful. Two more breaths here. Really engage those glutes. So you're squeezing that left glute. You're squeezing that right glute, that right hamstring, your left hamstring. Your pinky toes are still on the floor generating that balance. Take both hands now towards your heart into a prayer position. Rotate from the hip, your right elbow comes to the left knee and then open up towards the left side. Two breaths here. One side might be a little bit more difficult than the other, so just appreciate where your body is right now. For those of you who want to take it another level, curl that back toe and then lift that back leg. Two more breaths here. For those of you who are happy to transition, your right hand comes to the outside of your left leg, and then you're gonna rotate over to the left side into a side plank for three breaths. Carefully drop that right knee. Come all the way down to all fours. And this time we're gonna barrel roll from left to right. So whichever way you did last time, if you can remember, try and go the opposite direction. Beautiful. We're gonna do that little bit, we're gonna do the sequence again, but we're gonna go a little bit, a little bit quicker on this time, okay? So come straight into your triangle position or down dog position, hold here. Inhale and exhale. This time centralize your left foot, raise your right leg to the sky, inhale here, and then exhale, take your right knee to your right elbow as high as you can, almost like a right tricep. We wanna get nice and high with this. Don't, don't be afraid to arch your back. So inhale, lift, exhale, round, knee to elbow. Inhale, lift, exhale, round. Beautiful, last three. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, listen carefully, exhale, hold, and this time take your right foot on the outside of your right fingertips. Plant your left 
foot down and then come into a warrior one or a high lunge. So your back foot is planted down at a slight angle, come into this bended knee position, inhale here, six breaths. Focus on the reach, focus from the fingertips all the way to the sky. Your left foot is on the outside of your edge, is pushing into the mat. And your right outside foot and your toes are also pushing into the mat. So everything's being pulled up or pushed down. Two more breaths. Beautiful. So you can take a traditional vinyasa here if you choose. Take your hands to the floor. Take your feet back. You can go into a traditional vinyasa or you can come into my modified side plank position because we are working the core. And we're gonna hold for three breaths. Lift up that side hip, beautiful. For those of you who are doing a traditional vinyasa, stay in downward dog and we will all join you, okay? Beautiful. Everyone else who is following me, drop your right hand down. Let's just do a mini push up. Come into an upward dog and then straight into down dog. We're gonna do the whole thing on the other side. So centralize your right foot, lift your left leg and then take your left knee to left tricep. Inhale, lift. Exhale, left knee to left tricep. Beautiful, four more. Utilize your breath, focus on your inhale and exhale when you're doing this. Last two. Last one. Beautiful, drop that left foot on the outside of your foot. Plant your right foot down and then come straight up to that warrior one or that high lunge. So just to be careful and adjust your feet when necessary. Again, we've got a few breaths here, so any time you need to adjust, please do adjust. Focus on strengthening that back leg, pressing your left foot into the mat, so both the legs are very, very active. You are feeling the core strength. I was literally giving you the ability to hold this position nice and strong. For those of you who would like to, both arms down, traditional vinyasa. For anybody else who are following me, I'm gonna take both hands down, but I'm gonna transfer over to the right side of my side plank position for three breaths. Remember, you can modify this, drop your knee, Two breaths here. Everyone is gonna meet straight into that down dog position. So whichever choose, whichever ones you choose, just drop down and then come meet me back into a down dog. Actually, let's drop our knees and come into a child's pose. Just give yourself a little bit of a breather. Start to regulate that breath. Come back into that neutral position. Beautiful, we're gonna do one more flow and um, we're gonna to start to round up. So if you're coming with me, back into all fours, back into that plank position, centralize your left foot and then come up to a three-legged dog. So right leg nice and high. We're gonna do less reps, but we're still gonna keep the slow flow control, okay? So right knee, over to the left tricep if you can. Inhale, lift, and then exhale, left tricep. Last one. Inhale, lift, left tricep. Beautiful, but this time, centralize your foot, drop it down next to your right foot, drop down your left foot into that warrior one position, nice and slow, come up to a warrior one hold. Deep breath in, three breaths here. Really push the ground away, really squeeze the glutes. Get those legs nice and strong. For those of you who are going to traditional vinyasa, please go through that now. Anybody else who is following me, both hands down. We are gonna come into this side plank position. So our left hand is down, our right hand is towards our ear. If you're coming with me, we're going right to elbow, 
to left to elbow crunch. Two of these. Inhale, lift. Exhale, elbow to elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, elbow to elbow. Everybody meet me back into down dog. And breathe two more breaths. Centralize that right foot. Lift that left foot up nice and high. Inhale here. Exhale, left knee to right tricep. Cut it across. Inhale, lift. Exhale, cross. Last one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, cross. And this time, plant that left foot. Drop that right foot down. Prepare yourself for warrior one. Into that high lunge position. Hold here. Regulate that breath again. See how quickly you can re-regulate and slow down that breath. For those of you who want to take that traditional vinyasa, both hands down. For those of you who are coming with me straight into a side plank position. And then taking that left arm to left ear, elbow to elbow for three repetitions. Lift and crunch. Lift, last one. Crunch. Everybody meet in down dog for three breaths. Okay, let's do one more exercise as we do have time. We're gonna bend our knees and get to a yogic squat, however you like. So I'm gonna jump my feet through and then come straight down. And if you need a block, if you want some support, I should have mentioned this at the beginning, try and get something underneath you so you can make this yogic squat a little bit more comfortable. So what I would like you for you to do is TP up your fingertips and I really want you to push your fingertips together as you're pushing your knees into your elbows and your elbows into your knees. And really open up that spine. Beautiful. Five breaths here. So squeeze the glutes. Squeeze the thighs. Squeeze those legs. Push those fingers together. This is our last one, I promise. <laughs> we'll be able to now roll down and get grounded. Two more breaths here. Beautiful. Carefully release those hands. And I just want you to almost sit back into that low boat position. So see if you can transition into a nice low boat. Beautiful. Inhale here. For those of you who want to stay here, please do so. For those of you who want to go into a low boat, Lower into that nice canoe shape and then use the abdominals to crunch in. Let's go for 10 here. So lower and then inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good. Oh, these are really good core crunches. Make sure the work is coming from your core and not your back. If you need to drop your arms or elbows, please do so. Last four for me. Nice and slow. Three. Two. Last one and hold, 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 hold. If you wanna spread out those fingertips, if you wanna extend those legs, please do so. Last three, two, and relax. Whew. Okay, take those fingertips behind you. And then just lift and rock your hips and knees from side to side. Give the hips a little bit of a breather. Beautiful. Okay, so the last thing that we're going to do, because we have a lot of core control on that one, um, find yourself something to lean on or if you're happy just to sit back into a nice triangle position with your feet. So a nice diamond pose. And you can either clasp your toes, you can clasp your shins, it depends how far away you want your legs or how close you want your legs towards your groin. So just little butterfly flutters because we did a lot of those hip openers, we did a lot of core work, just being gentle with our body before we settle into Shavasana.
Good. So a few more breaths here, but this time start to slow down those butterflies and just drop your chin towards your chest, drop your shoulders away from your ears and just take five deep breaths here. Come back to the intention that you set right at the beginning of your yoga series. Can you remember what your intention was? Slowly coming to those knees, bringing those knees together with those arms, nice and gentle, and just make your way onto your back nice and gently, nice and slowly. Come into a place where we are going to go into Shavasana. So if you need a blanket or if you need some props, go get them to make sure you feel super, super comfortable into your Shavasana position. So just take a deep breath in, open up those arms, palms up to the sky and just make sure that your the back of your head is nice and comfortable against the mat. Now the tops of the shoulders are starting to relax down. Just make sure your throat is nice and open and less tension so just swallow gently. Ensure the backs of the arms are rested, being supported by the ground. The forearms are being held. And most likely your knuckles are on the mat, but your wrist and your fingertips are elevated. Try and lower the mid back into the ground. Relax your abdominals. Feel your lower back and your bum into the mat and that nice space between your lower lumbar area arching away from the floor. Your thighs may be off the ground and your knees may be elevated. See if you can really ground the side of the calves into the mat, your heels are supporting and resting you as your toes veer from left to right. Take a deep breath in through the toes, to the knees, to the sacrum, to the chest, to the top of the head. And then exhale from the top of the head, the throat, the heart, the abdominals, the hips, the knees, the toes. Do two more breaths like this, but this time we're going to go from the toes to the calves, to the hamstrings, to the lower back, to the back, to the back of the head. And then exhale from the forehead to the throat, to the chest, to the abdominals, to the hips, to the knees, to the toes. One more like this. Inhale through the back body. Exhale through the front body. And settle yourself into this space.
start to take a deep breath in, bringing the awareness and attention back to your breath. Keeping those eyes closed, but just wiggle those fingers and toes. Bring those feet together and those arms above the head, giving your whole body a stretch, revitalized and awakened into this new version of yourself. Come over to the favorite side and just get into your fetal position. Nice and gently, keeping those eyes closed. When you feel ready, push yourself up to a seated position. And just keep taking deep breaths in through your nose. Hands, back of the hands rest gently onto your knees. Come back to the intention you set right at the beginning of your practice. How can you be more compassionate and loving to yourself today? To the thing that you have focused on throughout this practice. And bring those arms alongside the floor, raise up towards the sky, gather up all this amazing energy you've cultivated on the mat, let those fingertips touch and come back down to the heart center. We're going to take one big arm together. So take a deep breath in through the nose. divine in me sees and honors the divine in you. Namaste. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for being here. And thank yourselves for taking this opportunity on the mat.